All right, so we're going to be doing Crystal Cave uh, on Ruthless. Yeah. Anyway, this is the person I'm going to be starting off with. And that's her builder stats. It's not... I mean, it's all right. It's not, like, crazy crazy. And... I also have this person out because I build walls in the second wave. Um, I only have one person out there in the first wave with the way I do this because if you have the second person out, then you, know, you can only build walls on the second wave anyway, but the way I have this done. I just realized I wasn't explaining. So, power person. That's the stats. Have a little bit of that. Have a little bit of that because I'm going to be boosting and upgrading during waves. Uh, Huntress, monk equivalents. That's just gonna sit on the RS, uh, second wave going forwards. Just normal beamer and app huntress type deal. Anyway, so yeah, we'll restart and oh, and just I guess to show for stability of the build, they don't need to use some crazy HP thing. I guess I'll just use her uh, for it. But I'll build the walls on the second wave because, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of, it's basically the gens will be a no, it's, yeah, just, I mean, you can do it, it just won't be as consistent if you uh, want to build the walls and get the second person in right away. Just has to do with the gens having more health and not having enough damage coming out on the first wave and yada, yada, yada. Oops, that. Okay, so just build a normal stack. Um, go over here. Just I build it on the south side, not on that side, because it makes it so the gins have a little bit more distance they have to travel before you try to delete your towers. And it does make a little bit of a difference. And you just have this going up, down, side, side. Basically cover the lanes and cover the gins along with the lanes. So that's it for this one. Then you just start. And you let your towers just get smacked by balls. Um, I would like some mana. There we go. Okay, well, you just always want to make sure, like, when you're upgrading, you don't run out of boost. That, uh, that will, on Ruthless, that'll, that's really dangerous, because the gins will then be able to delete your stuff. As you saw, the gin was able to come up there and start trying to delete it, which is why I said, if you uh, bring another person in the the summoner to expand these R's out, which you need these R's expanded if you're going to have the walls here, because you see on this side, that's fine, but if you go over here, it's like, yeah, not really fine at all. The kobolds are just going to explode and destroy those towers, or, yeah, just won't be as stable. Alright, so I guess we'll, since we'll just build walls with her, this four unit walls just going in. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided, like, I haven't caught with the pathing of the bosses. If, if you build it before, if it'll be better than them trying to keep jumping off all the time. I guess one thing you could build is you could probably build a reflect right here for the spiders. I think it reflects spider webs, but should be okay. So right now I'm just building it so it covers the middle section over, you know, where I'm pointing the arrow. It covers the middle section and also the lane. Um, you don't need to cover all of the lane because the main thing is you have this to kind of support the lane, but mainly to kill the gins that are trying to be nasty and delete your stuff. 
so. You can tell I'm speedrunning this so hard. Oh, and I made a mistake, but it'll be okay. So, I'm bringing in this person in, and yeah. That's the uh, one that's supposed to be sitting on this power stack, and I should probably boost. Yeah, look at all that damage I took when I don't boost. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Well, it's because they're not, you know, uh, stunning the guys and whatever, and making them, interrupting their poison nonsense. I should probably get some mana. My spouse is listening to a podcast in the background, so I don't even know if it's showing up on the audio here. Hopefully not. I believe it's a podcast called Risk, and a lot of the stories in there are very naughty. So, not the best for, I guess, all audiences. So if you're underage, or shouldn't be hearing mature content, don't look, don't look it up. Which will totally get you to look it up. That's okay. I already said my little disclaimer. See, I almost made a mistake there and uh, upgraded this when uh, I would have run out of mana if I completed the upgrade. I just get so excited to be like, okay, let's just upgrade, upgrade. Yeah, I'm totally going to have to listen to the audio on this video afterwards to uh, make sure that none of that risk podcast is going through, because it is. Oh. It's not, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not probably appropriate for younger people. So yeah, right now it's just going through. And the reason why I also Huntress guarding will work here, because you have a 3R stack. Oh, okay, we only have a couple left. And you also have two LT, so that would just be five towers. So that just be that work just fine. You know? And also I only have four DSTs up. So that's why I also was saying that the uh, Huntress app on these uh, later on will be just fine too, because um, I don't have six, so four, you have five, you have one extra, so cool. Oh, I accidentally hit power boost off. Uh, well, I guess we'll see how well this can hold up. That is totally not going to hold. It's totally not going to hold. It's going to delete. Yep. Oh well. Well. Now you know. That's what happens when you, uh... Though you don't really need the walls, I guess. Because the... They don't... These guys don't really... 
won't really get close enough to reach these, or at least they shouldn't. I think. I haven't really tested out for the final wave, but at least for now, they definitely won't reach it. I mainly have the walls up for the uh, boss heroes, so that way they stay still so I can beam them. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, this is totally a speed run. Alright, so let's just build that again. This again. Oh, we're on wave 19. So this one I switch to this person, hit F6 twice, get everyone in. Cool. And then I hit F8. Let's hit F5. Put you on the DSTs. Hit F4 to get this person. Okay. And we'll just, uh. Two. I should get to getting some mana. I guess I'll just put you, like, there. Yeah, whatever. Alright. F4. I do want to upgrade these walls, at least just to a star. I mean, they can probably hold without any upgrades, but I'm not doing anything else, so... Yeah. Oh, normally, you should be able to get these all upgraded all the way. early, so that way I have it in time for the boss and don't have to wait too long. Yep, yeah, that all looked again. Cool. Hit N. Boss started right away, more or less. Alright, well, let's see here. The app is the one we're going to want to be looking out for. So, where are you, Mr. App? Mr. App died. So there's a spot where if they hit the wall or something, they'll just automatically die for some reason or another. Um, so yeah, usually I just wait until the app decides to charge up, and then I'll kill it. But, so that's the one that's going to be any danger to you. Alright, so simple enough. Cool, cool. Yeah, normally, um, you're going to see the app, like, stuck here, or here-ish, around there. Uh, actually, most of the heroes will end up on this lane. But, um, sometimes, I think a lot of times the, like, the app or monk, anyways, point is, you're going to see the app stuck, usually right against the wall somewhere. So just keep an eye on the mini-map, and, uh, Beam it. Um, you might need to move the monk a little bit, though, uh, with the t uh, hero boost, if you don't have enough damage with just EV alone to be able to uh, beam the app down in time before it explodes all over the place. Alright. Well, that is that. Um, let's see. So that was pretty fast. I guess I should try to run it a little tiny bit faster rather than and just do it the way I normally do it. So let's see. How fast can we get this going? Not right. A best time speed run, but just more of a not really a speed run, just more of a not dilly daddling around type of deal. I don't even know if I need this last chest. I should check, because that would help speed things up if I don't need to grab it. Okay, so you... Yeah. And I'm not the fastest builder either, so... 
Yeah. That was a bad placement of the fireball. But, uh, and also another bad placement. But that's okay. Yeah, I don't need the last chest because I have 230 left. Yeah. So, we could, I guess in the future I should just speed it up by not grabbing that last chest. See, I'm learning as I'm making this video. And I should turn on boost because I hear that's how you don't die. Stop it, Cyclops. You guys are mean. So yeah, you do have to have enough app health um, on the towers for it to survive. And I guess I could be upgrading. It would help just the time for it. That's right. Built the four DSTs. As stated, these are mainly for warding off those ugly gins that want to delete everything. And also cover the lanes a little bit. Then you, you, and then start. Start these guys on the RS. I wonder, do I even need to upgrade these? Yeah, I don't need to upgrade them. I would, however, recommend upgrading the fireballs and the DSTs because, like I said, the only thing that's really going to... Uh, the things that are going to kill you on this level, if anything, are going to be the gins deleting stuff, mainly your towers or RS, essentially deleting the buff beam. Um, or the app, just killing things off. Another thing that may happen sometimes is a spider may try to web you. So, um, usually it doesn't happen, but yeah. That's also why I said a reflect wall right here might be good. But yeah, every time it's happened, I haven't died. So, should be okay without it. Just one more thing to build. You know, one more hassle to deal with.
All right, that's all upgraded. So I'm just gonna chill. I normally just point the balls this way. Because I guess that's where a lot of the heroes go. So let's. I don't know, maybe it's faster if I don't point it that way. Because maybe that'll mean they'll just stick on here more. So let's point it down this way instead. Anyway, I'm pretty confident it'll build itself. It's. It holds just fine. Also, alt armor drops pretty consistently on this map when doing campaign. It's actually worth checking to see if any armor dropped. I think it was just before I made this video. I think I got a void armor on the last run. Yeah, so that was nice. Not the best void armor, but it's, it's void. Oh, aimed at the boost too early. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this. Which I, oh, I don't even need. This is why I have it in order. I don't need to click on it. I can just hit swap. Yep. And there. Cool. Let's see. You go on with these teams. And you just. Uh, let's see. I think we decided to have you pointed this direction. That's right. And then get a two. Mm -hmm. Wow, what an aim. Did you see that? Holy moly, that spider. It was trying to hit my um, Eevee, and it hit the tower instead. It's fairly impressive. In fact, I need to stop doing that. The spiders keep trying to web my Eevee and keep hitting the towers instead. That's uh, setting. Yeah. And despite that, see, things are holding pretty fairly well. So, it's all good. Let's see, there's an ult armor that dropped, and oh, both are ult armors. Seems like on this map, the ult armor to weapon ratio is really nice towards the armor. Oh, two ult classes. Let me pick those up. Where are you at? Oh, I forgot to check about my. Uh, yeah. I'm going to wait until his uh, tire boost is back up, because I don't trust myself to be good enough for that. Let's see, let's grab this in the meantime. Hit end. Alright. Oh, whoops. Let's uh, have you back up, dude. I made a mistake on that. Alright, where are you at? Up you are down that way. Are you going to are you gonna do it? Yes you are. Cool. So that's simple enough, then you can just delete all the rest of these guys. Okay. And then Squire. Dude. Squire, come over here, please. Don't be mean. Get stuck on the wall, please. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. So Squire has a thing where he will knock you out of the map. Which is also why I don't want him right there. Like... Oh my goodness. Can you not die? Oh, I don't have... Okay. 
All right, I didn't have hero boost on. So, this will help now. I'm surprised it hasn't knocked me into the next side of the map yet. All right, cool. Yeah, really messy, but it worked just fine. <laughs> Guess my monk was done with me. Huh. Anyway, so I can all that out. My monk is still dying. All right, so time, yeah, I think earlier it was like 11 minutes, this one was 12 minutes, and that was with me failing really hard on killing the squire and stuff, so runtime's not too bad on Ruthless, I think. So anyway, that's all. Have a nice one.